Hi everyone, I'm Priscilla and I'll be your teacher today at the Red Path Baking School. Today we'll learn how to bake a beautiful toasted coconut pie shell and then fill it with an orange blossom pastry cream. Today's recipe features the golden yellow sugar. What I love about this sugar is that moist crumbly texture and those subtle notes of caramel. But if you love a more intense caramel flavor, definitely choose the dark brown sugar. It lends itself great to all sorts of baked goods, but also savory dishes. So you can use it in sauces, rubs, and even marinades. And now it's time to meet our students. Hi, my name is Lexi. I'm super excited to be here today at the Red Path Cooking School. Hi, my name is Victor. And I'm so excited to be part of this uh, Red Path Baking School. So I've known Victor, aka Random Cuisine, for almost a year now. We actually met through Instagram. I know, kind of uh, unconventional meetup, but we met through a group of passionate coffee lovers and through a photo walk where we meet up for photography and shooting around town. And then ever since we've been eating out, trying new restaurants, and also eating lots of ice cream. And we've just been hanging out ever since. Hi, my name is Nusha, and I'm really happy to be able to be here at the Red Path Baking School today. Hi, my name is Nora, and I'm looking forward to baking some pie. My partner, Nora, and I, we met in grad school, and we kind of got along really quickly because of our passion for food and eating and baking, uh, cooking, and uh, yeah, that's how we met, and uh, that's our favorite pastime together. Hi, my name is Lindsay, and I'm really excited to be here today at the Red Path Baking School. Hi, my name is Jessica, and I'm really excited to be here at the Red Path Baking School. Uh, so my partner today is Jessica, and we were roommates. We used to live together, and um, yeah, and then we became friends. And now she's my favorite foodie, that's why we're here. I'm here to really help push your uh, baking experience a little bit further. So if you have any questions as to why we do things in a certain step, or uh, if you want to get a little bit creative and add different you know, flavor profiles, we're open to that as well. Um, and we're going to really encourage you to do some uh, decorating that's personal to you. So use ingredients that you like, decorate them in a nice way. I'll show you how to do certain, uh, certain decos as well. And so I'm really going to be walking around to help you at your station. So feel free to just call my name, let me know if you need my help. The most important thing is to have fun today, so welcome. Yay. Um, so our first step is you're going to want to get two big bowls out and we're going to start doing our dry ingredients and then we're going to start uh, creaming the butter. I do not have any cooking experience or baking experience, um, but I did used to help my grandmother a lot um, and I just like really tried things whenever I can. Okay, so this is half a cup. It's better. So? Well, you can just weigh it, maybe then. Right. And then wait zero with this first, and then. Okay. Okay, you're on butter duty. Yeah. My experience with baking is sort of limited, but I've been watching my mom cook and bake at the same time for um, ever since I was a young kid. So um, that's pretty much the experience that I have. I've been watching and tasting. Mm -hmm. So if you know the consistency that you're going after, it, the different steps. Then you can adjust. Right. Right. So the dry is ready. Don't worry about it. Get over. Second Just spots. Okay. Fifty-two. Oh. Take, the, take this one since I'm touching it. One. Oh yeah, almost. Okay, we're one fourteen. Yeah. Well, <laughs> sort of. So we'll. Get this one final whip, okay. and then you can start okay. incorporating your dry. But not while it's not while it's turning, yeah. okay? Otherwise, we'll all be covered in flour. Yes, mm -hmm. that happened just earlier, but not. Oh, really? Okay. Gone. You, you might want to stop it when yeah. you put it in, yeah. because in then, yeah. So put in your quantity, and then on low, mix it just until it's starting to incorporate, meaning that there's not a lot of loose flour. It doesn't have to be perfectly integrated. Then we'll do it with the you can add the rest and then yes, if ever you just kind of scrape the bowl with a spatula. Oh, no, yeah. no. I'm saying let's give it another minute. Yeah. Um, and then but yes, enough. low and slow. All right, low and slow. So I've taken a baking class in the past, but I just really like getting my hands dirty in the kitchen and making really delicious things. Or trying anyway. The hardest part about being filmed right now is that it's I'm, I'm really, really making an effort to not like taste the ingredients. 
Isn't that good? good. Mm. Oh, you, you have to taste it. Can we just you have to. Yeah. So yeah, so as long as everything's scraped down, then we can just cover it with plastic. You just put it like together. It's okay. No biggie. When my children started um, watching baking shows uh, and asking to, uh, to experiment in the kitchen, this is where I started getting into it. So. Uh, how are you girls doing? This is good, right? Nope. We're gonna let it fluff up a little bit more because um, you can still see the little butter. Oh, we're not supposed to uh, see the. No, exactly. Okay. We want to be able to see really a nice. It's gonna pale as well. The color is gonna get a little bit more pale. Okay. And it's gonna look really fluffy. It shouldn't be wet. Okay. Oh. All right. So just let it do some. So you can, yeah, I would suggest to stop it. There we go. Now give it a final scraping. We're going to cover it with some plastic wrap and we're going to put it in the fridge. Today I would like to learn um, how to, like, um, new recipes about how to make uh, pies and tarts, tartlets. And at the same time, I would like to um, have fun with my friend and at the same time um, practice my skills in baking. <laughs> we got this. We got this. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to learning a recipe from A to Z um, from, and to cook a tartelette for the first time. How are things going, girls? Very good, I think. I think we're good. <laughs> it's looking... Like it looks great. It smells good. All right, so should we start all, all of the yeah. dry ingredients. Perfect. So now you watch it, and as soon as you don't see any more loose flour, you're going to stop it. <laughs> Should be good, right? <laughs> you guys, I can tell your dough is going to be perfect. Don't worry. Yeah, you're doing really good. Perfect. There you go. So you can put it in the fridge, and we're going to start the pastry cream. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like this. Yeah, exactly. Get it nice and tight. Nice and tight. You don't want any air. Why is that? Because it'll dry out. It's going to be resting for an hour in the fridge. And so if there's air contact, it's going to dry out, and then your, your dough won't come together when you try to roll it. So the pie crusts have been chilling for the last hour, and now they're ready to be taken out, rolled out, and molded into their beautiful little tart pan. So my tip is, it's a lot easier to put in the, the crust, your piece of crust, when it's closer to the same size. Okay. So just put your pie um, mold in the middle where you want to use the mm -hmm. crust, and then with a knife, trace around it, leaving a little extra space because you have to think that there's also the edges to think mm -hmm. of. So yeah. you want to make sure that you use right. enough of a margin all around. Right, right, right. So leave a good, I'd say, half inch of around the pie tin, sorry. We'll bake them off and then let them cool down, and then we'll fill them with our beautiful orange blossom cream. So by adding uh, the whipped cream, all that beautiful air in the whipped cream is going to go and lighten the custard. So instead of being dense, um, it's going to be a little bit fluffier and a little bit richer at the same time. Yep. To make sure you bring down all of the cream and then you're going to twist. So use one hand at the bottom to stabilize it and then just keep twisting, 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 twisting. Then you can cut the size of the hole that you want. You can start thinking how you want to decorate your pies. Um, you can do all one type of fruit. You can do multitudes of fruit. We can slice up fruits. Uh, you can work in layers. Decorate using seasonal fruit. And don't be afraid to use some personal touches. 
just like our students have today. So we have our final charts. And I have to say, you guys, you did a great job. Look how beautiful these are. Are you proud? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Congrats, guys. Cheers. 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 Good job. Cheers.